Hello. Today we are going to talk about Chapter Seven of Eloquent JavaScript. However, um, this chapter is a review of what we've learned in the past several chapters. Since we are already doing、uh, summarizing, so I'm not going to.、Um, I'm not going into the detail of this chapter. Uh, uh, but there is one point, which is very important and confusing in JavaScript.、Um, that is the binding of this. So I'm going to focus on this topic.、Uh, let's take a look at an example.、Um, instead of、um, taking an example from the book, I'm going to. Uh, use this example from MDN because it's、uh, much more much easier to understand. Okay, here we go. So we have a global variable x here, which equals to nine.、Uh, as you know, the global object is window, and then we have a object here. Called module, it contains a variable x which equals to eighty one, and a method get x,、uh, which is a function of course, and all it does is to return、uh, the x in this module. Here, this refers to module here. So when we learn module dot get x,、uh, we are actually getting, we are actually returning module dot x, which is eighty one, okay. But when we、um, here we、uh, assign this function to a global variable, from here,、um, the function doesn't belongs to. Doesn't belong to a module, but to this、uh, global variable, which means the context of this function、uh, is the global object window. So、uh, the this inside of this variable、uh, refers to the global、uh, variable x. So we got. Uh, nine year from this one. Okay, there is a line in the book says, when a function isn't called as a method, this refers re will refer to the global object window, and this is the case, right? So to solve to solve this, ah,、uh, we can use the bind method. To give a context to the to the function, so when we pass module as the context、uh, for the variable, and within this variable, this refers to the module we passed. So when we run this again, we got eighty one, which is the x inside the module. Got it? Okay. And many、uh, high-order methods on arrays such as for each and map、uh, take an optional second argument as the this argument, such as this one. The for each can take the a、uh, second argument as the this argument. Okay, as the context. So, uh, let's take a look at another example. Um, here we have a function called counter. Uh, it contains two, uh, variable, sum and count. And we create a add method to the prototypes of counter. It's a function, of course. And then we pass in a an array, and do a for each on the array, and do the sum and the count, 
And then we pass a second argument as the this argument. And we pass this, which is the counter itself into the uh, into the for each uh, function. So when we uh, create a new instance and then do a do the add method, this array is passed into the function as this one. So um, we got the count and the sum as we want it. And what if we don't pass the this uh, argument? What would happen? Uh, I tried it out in my JavaScript console. So the first time when I run, I had the this argument, and the second time I remove it. So when for the first time, uh, as you notice. As you may notice, I add a console log here so that it prints out the context of this section. Okay, the first time we got counter as um, the context since we passed in the this. And then the second time we got window, the global object as the context. So let's take a look again here. So when we run this, uh, we pass in an array, right? This array, and it becomes this one. And when we run for each on this one, the array doesn't belong to the counter, which means, uh, or, or we can say, um, the array is is not a method of the counter or the for each is not a method of counter I mean there is here we are not running as a method of the counter itself so the context is no longer uh, in counter that's why we got a window as the context right okay that's it so the most important point of today is um, this sentence when a function isn't called as a method this will refer to the global object which is the window object okay thanks for watching and the next chapter, we will talk about bugs and error handling. Bye.